Mattel is launching. Oh, wait, I just saw what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Mattel is launching a Barbie doll. Okay. That is internet connected. <laughs> and they're going to call it Hello Barbie. Hello Barbie. And one of, so it's going to be like a Siri or Cortana. It's going to be hooked up. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> it's going to be hooked up to the internet. And it's going to be able to carry on conversations with you. Okay. It's going to get Wi-Fi updates so it can keep up with trends. Have you updated your Barbie lately? <laughs> <laughs> and it's going like and it's going to be able to carry on conversations like talk to kids about future career paths all this kind of stuff and it's not necessarily the barbie concept or the fact that this is going into a barbie that got me excited as i sat there and i thought about it i'm like okay so you can't tell me the price point on this is going to be above 250 bucks because not many parents it's not going to sell um mm-hmm. to kids parents to me at least at, a, at a, an above 250 dollar price point where this comes in to me is if you can get it down so they're obviously making profit off of that let's just pretend it's let's just pretend it's 250 say it's a hundred dollars profit so you're talking 150 for the for the device or for the barbie mm-hmm. so the, the cost is 150 Now when you start thinking about, okay, $150 in a $1,000 refrigerator, bumping that up to 1150 not such a big deal. Mm-hmm. Throwing it in a TV at a $150 cost, not such a big deal. And I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm going around my house thinking, hmm, am I going to start carrying on conversations in every room? And it to me, it breaks down the what is amazon call theirs uh alexa uh, alexa yeah uh, so it breaks Echo. down the alexa concept of okay i have to put an alexa in every one of my rooms mm-hmm. it's now put this technology in something and even if it's even if it's brand the same brand so mm-hmm. like i have a samsung tv we have samsung blu-ray players i mean we have samsung all over our house where, where iphone people buy by nature of the phone but when it, when it comes to other products is samsung is in a lot of rooms in our house and so is microsoft from the xbox perspective and, and some of the os is running on different computers around the house so having this technology built into a multitude of devices i could if they're getting it into the price point of a barbie it can't be that far off that we could get this into everything all over our house. Mm-hmm. Not to mention something like the Alexa. I don't. I. I don't like the idea of Amazon running the Alexa because I think it's very self-centered and focused at Amazon drumming up Amazon sales and and then tracking you to then give you other ideas of what you should be buying on Amazon from Amazon's perspective. Mm-hmm. Going into a third party like a Barbie or like your refrigerator or whatever, I, I just see it definitely coming into play all over your house. Not to mention, if have they cracked the nut of, of battery life? Because where are they going to... I don't even. I don't how know many times we want to go to, here? But where are they going to store the charge my battery? Yeah. yeah. Or where do they charge? <laughs> what if you put the battery in a Barbie? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but, um, I, I don't. I, I just see them if they're getting. I mean, all, all it needs is a Wi-Fi connection, a microphone, and some some cool tech mm-hmm. um, to get up and running. I don't see why we can't see this type of technology from a third party everywhere. That's not just reselling you other services from that from said party you could put it on your dog's collar the dog (laughs) follows you around you ask the dog questions and it speaks back and it says hello finally (laughs) oh it's like the dog was a dog from uh up that had the thing on his collar that when he barked it would like it was some it it interpreted it okay but i mean you could at that price point, I think you're getting close to the point where you could put them in other technologies around your house. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. That, and that's where I see... I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's pretty darn cool that a Barbie doll is going to carry on a conversation with you. It's a little creepy. Um, 
in, in some respects, but you're, you're getting this a little. Weren't you getting this a little bit already? We're just kind of updating the technology. There was the doll that always talked back to you, and 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 everything. Like not Barbies, but like the baby dolls, you know. Baby dolls that, that talked back to you, or there was Teddy Ruxpin, where right. it was kind yeah. of it was empted, but it, it was a cassette tape. Yeah, it was a cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> they had an alpha version as well. Uh-oh. Dog trying to get the pizza. I don't know. Okay. Well, someone was <laughs> trying to get the dog. Ghosts, Barbies. Ghost Barbies trying to get the Ghost dog. Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about, um, just as a from a, a practical standpoint about the, about the Barbie itself. I'm curious oh, if if uh, Mattel's going to make sure that this is updated. They've had some difficulties in the past, like with uh, uh, promoting some ridiculous gender uh, uh, stereotypes with the Barbie line. And and I know now that they they they're more careful and there are scientist Barbies and teacher Barbies and yeah. professor Barbies and stuff. Um, but, but, I mean, they could turn this into a real positive, which Mattel hasn't always been willing to do or has been slow to do. Um, so, I mean, here's how smart this is going to be, what uh, what sort of answers it's uh, it's going to come up with when you're talking to it. Um, I'm also curious about durability. And you, I, I, watching watching my, my, my niece uh, just a few years ago whacking her Barbies on the floor and dragging <laughs> them around the house by her there with their hair... Um, I mean, what, and, and, I, you know, and you mentioned this. I thought this when, when when you brought it up. Exactly, who is the audience for this gonna be? Like, I think it's like is that. It, I think it's that second grader and above age range. And it'd be interesting. So let's just pretend mm -hmm. that. So you introduce it to a second grader yeah. that's going to have a very limited vocabulary mm -hmm. and and limited understanding. And what if the Barbie grew with you? through i don't know when do kids get rid of barbies now six three i don't know i still play yeah. with my star wars characters yeah. or figures action figures they're action figures they're not <laughs> i don't know there's there's a hulk hogan and a casey jones behind uh crappy over there on the <laughs> yeah right there. Right so there. i mean i don't i don't know when you outgrow that but mm -hmm. if it can carry on conversations yeah. about Did you, aspirations yeah this and, i'm reading would, this I mean, that would be cool and, and this is and mattel has a chance to do something really cool mm -hmm. with this like it, well, actually like like barbie uh, i forgot i'm sorry i didn't catch how much he got into this but the, the i'm looking at this where it's saying you're the two-way conversation that will uh, uh talk them about their their career paths yes mm -hmm. so, wow and, and I, I was listening to i think it was this week in tech or something and someone was talking about their daughter and their daughter his daughter stopped asking him for help with vocabulary because she realized on the Google tablet, she could say, okay, Google, how do I spell ancient? Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, doctor was talking yeah, about Oh, doctor was week. talking about it. So it's things like this. And, and I, I thought they took it in a really good light of it's no longer trying to teach your kid about how to spell a word or a fact of this happened in such and such year. It's about why it happened and why is it important? Mm -hmm. But that's, a, right. that's actually a pretty i don't know if it was a bill gates thing i was listening to or something else but there's yeah like there's been a few conversations like that i've been listening to where they're like yeah we don't have to figure out how the math problem works and memorize but why right you know why did this happen you know columbus you know did whatever in 1942 great we don't have to remember that we have to remember why did he come over and what did it do you know i mean that's that's more, more into crit critical thinking, I think, and we get to let the other stuff get out of the way, you know. So, interesting, interesting. Wow. Uh, so, hello, Barbie. Go check that out.